Hey guys, Mr. MJ Fan101 Alt here back for another race video on Halo 4. Um, this is going to be my first Octane Racing League race, which is basically just a continuation of the Outlaw Racing League, which is the last one you saw. This is going to be MT Season 7 um, Race 2. First race I thought was pretty boring, wasn't that exciting. And then the third race was pretty good at the beginning, but again, it sort of falls off to the end. I like races that have something going on during the whole thing. So then I always have something to talk about that's actually going on in the race. Um, I don't think I'll post the next race, week four, that track. I just do not think will be that exciting. And then, well, it could be. It, it could be, but I don't think it will be, so you probably won't be seeing the fourth race. The fifth race, though, I like that track, and I think that'll be a I think that'll be an exciting race throughout for several reasons. So don't expect to see another one of these races for about two weeks. If you do, it'll be an older season. It won't be this season. But anyways, um, we're racing on Kratopolis, which is a road course, uh, the first road course race of the season. Uh, drivers are going to have to pit twice during this race, so look out for that. Some drivers may be using some strategies, some may not. It's going to get interesting either way, so we'll go through our starting lineup. I obviously do not have half these guys' armors. I don't know half of them, so I'll try my best. This is Psycho Seraph. I know that. Starting in front row inside. believe that is Lynx. That might be Justice. No, that is Lynx right there. Uh, front row, middle. Justice is back row, middle. Luke is, uh, or excuse me, middle row. Inside, Justice is middle row, middle. Um, that is Nuked Ice Cream, middle row, outside. And this is, uh, I believe, Midget? Yes, Midget. Um, front row, outside. Uh, that is King Edward. He is third row, inside. Uh, that should be Congo, third row, middle. Uh, right here is Real Deal, third row, outside. And Office, fourth row, outside. So anyways, we're going to get on with the start here. I'm trying to find who I want to watch. Just go with me, because then I won't have any lag. <laughs> okay, that's cute, Edward. Anyways, the race starts on 59 seconds flat, so I'll tell you when that's coming up. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Green, green, green. Lynx gets a great start. Oh, Justice takes Luke out, and Midget, and Office, and Congo. Huge crash there with Justice in the beginning. And then and then he's stopping up Congo and Office. That's that's detrimental to these back this back row of Luke, Congo, and Office. They're gonna have to fight their way back up, but luckily they surprisingly are recovering pretty well. See Edward trying to make a move on ice cream right here. It's a little too low. Ice Cream's going to make the move on Midget. Midget, one of the faster GP drivers. He's deaf. Whoa! Oh, he goes off the side of the track. He goes down. I just jinxed him. He he got hit with the jinx. Yeah, I, he's, he, is, he truly is one of the best road course racers, but he goes down early. That could be it for him, honestly. Edward's trying to make a move on Nuked. He pulls it off. Link's making a move on, what is it, Seraph? And that's, there we go. Luke's making a move on the outside, in the now inside of Nuked. Edward is past Nuked. Luke's about to pass Nuked. Lynx was not able to complete the pass on Seraph. Real Deal's got off to a big lead. Oh, Seraph goes wide. Lynx goes on the inside. We have a four wide, four wide. Edward backs out of that. He says, screw that. Still three wide. Lynx goes a little too far to the inside. Luke's going to get the best of that four wide. Taking second. He won the opening race last week and he's trying to get up there to the, towards the front this week Lynx again trying to move to that inside but it's not going to work Luke is speeding away um, from this field pits are open we'll have to wait and see when people decide to pit Office trying to make a move on Edward Edward a little too far off the side of the track he's going to get double passed right there by Office and nuked. So Edward, I'm assuming, yep, yeah, I, I thought he was going to go hard for position right there. You see these guys battling in the pack, they're already losing tons of ground to Luke and Real Deal. Luke and Real Deal are just running away 
Look at how many goose lengths Luke gained. This is what racing the pack does to you. I mean, even if you're in the front of the pack, just being in a pack really does slow you down. And uh, I'm watching Pancake to see Pitts. Real deal goes in for the Pitts. That's going to give Luke the lead. We have other takers. Office and Edward are going in. Real deal is out by Congo. Um, Office and Edward are going to be in the back of the pack now, away from everybody. Oh, Ice Cream, you can see he gets Seraph in the wall right there. And this pitch strategy is interesting by Real Deal, because he pitted really early. Um, before, he, I mean, he was the first person to pit, and now he's getting passed up by Midget. He's getting slowed down by Congo. This is going to slow him down a ton. Oh, Midget goes out off of a little bit of lag right there, it looked like. Lynx and Ice Cream having a close battle. Let's see who pits this time. Ice Cream pits. And Ice Cream is going to be the only taker. Yes, he is. He's the only taker. Oh, Congo. Again, Congo getting really wide. This is all slowing down real deal. An interesting strategy from him, but it looks like it's not working. Oh, he gets flipped off of lag. That is really detrimental to real deal. Luke is not pitted yet. He is in front of the field by a ton, and all of this pack racing is helping him out tremendously. Let me see if I can get him Pancake's view here. We're going to call him the pit reporter, because that's basically what he is at this point. <laughs> um, Lynx goes in the pits. He takes it. Seraph takes it. Both their first shots at the pits. Midget, I believe, his first shot at the pit. Real Deal goes in for his final pit. If I were him, I would have took it then, too, honestly. Um, Edward goes in for his final pit. They're all out. And look at Luke's lead on Congo. Congo, who is only... I don't think he's pitted yet. I don't think Congo has pitted once yet. So that's a huge lead. Office is the only person that's pitted once. So you could say he's in second place. Luke was going to take it that lap, but messed up. I'm assuming he's going to take his soon. Will Congo take, I believe, his first? No. Um, Office is going to take his second. Uh, we have Lynx going in for a second, I believe. Real Deal and Seraph having a close battle. Oh, Office! Oh! Oh, Seraph gets screwed up. Office came right back out into the track, and Real Deal and Seraph had to split their battle. Bad luck there for Seraph. Wow, that is horrible luck there for Seraph. He just got completely screwed out of that. Just That's the way Pit Road works here. I mean, th that's the lap Luke was going to pit, and he messed up. Um... That's just the way pits work here. You come right back onto one of the dirtiest sections of the track. Congo comes in for his first. Uh, pretty good strategy by Congo, honestly, I gotta admit. Um, but yeah, that's that's a very this is a very treacherous track as Midget goes out of his second pit. Almost everybody has done their second or first pick right now. Or first pick. The only people that haven't, Nuked has only done one pit. Luke has not done any. Seraph and Justice take their shots of the pit. Luke finally gets in the pits for his first shot at it, and that's going to allow Nuked to gain on him a little bit, but Congo, uh, real deal in office, is really who's going to be battling with Luke when he takes his second pit, because the second and third place people still have a pit to go. And you can see Luke's right there, real deal in office are right there. When they cross the finish line, Luke's already halfway through the track, and Luke's only got to take one more pit, so it's going to be, it's going to take a lot from real deal in office to catch up to him. We're going to stay in pit view one more lap. Because uh, this is around when the pit strategy starts to taper off. Luke goes in for his final pit. And it's going to be interesting. Now, he's going to get passed by Nuked, but only by a little bit. And you have to remember, Nuked still has one more pit to go. And you see the gap between Luke and Real Deal. Luke's got a pretty healthy lead on the people he's competing with, which is this whole pack back here. Uh, it looks like Congo had pitted it sometime. I think everybody's done at this point. May the only people that might not be are, well, Nuked is not done, but Seraph and Justice, they might still have to pit. But at this point, everybody's basically done except for Nuked, and he is the leader. He's still got to take one more. So we're going to go to Luke's view. Yeah, he's he's got a little bit of a ground to gain on Nuked, but you have to remember Nuked does have to pit. So we'll see how that ends up. Real deal in office having a little bit of a battle here. They have Luke in their sights. Real Deal easily could have taken this race, or it would have been a battle between him and Luke, but Real Deal's early pitch strategy got him in the middle of the pack and really screwed him over. That that's what I think. If if he doesn't win this race, that's what I would con that that's what I would uh 
um, that's what I, that's what I would point out as as the turning point for Real Dose Race, is that uh, bad pitch strategy that that really put him deep in the field and allowed Luke, who had a you know, he was pretty far, he was about this gap behind Real Deal, and now he gained that gap and has that gap in front of him now. That's how much that pack racing affected Real Deal. So pitch strategy definitely coming into play right here. It is not really played in the favor of Real Deal, not really played in the favor of Lynx or Congo. However, Newt might get a good deal off of it. Now, if I, if I were nuked, though, I think nuked is waiting too long at this point. If he would have pit, in my opinion, if I were nuked, I mean, he knows, I mean, nuked isn't the fastest person here. He knows it, and he knows he has Luke Office and Real Deal behind him who are all gaining on him. If I were him, I would have pitted a little bit earlier, like as soon as, as soon as after Luke pit, because then, you know, nuked, even though he isn't that fast, he had as much of a gap at that point that he had a chance to get out in front of Office and Real Deal and block those guys. But I think he's waiting too long. He's waited so long that, you know, he's going to be behind him, way behind him, because they, he's been giving them so many laps to catch up on him. So nuked, if he would have pit right away, that actually would have been a very good pit strategy that could have nailed him a podium. But you can tell right here, he's waited just a little bit too long. So Nuked is one of the people that the pitch strategy is not really working in his favor. So Nuked and Lynx and Real Deal, they have not gotten good deals off of it. Luke's got a really good deal off of it. And um, I'd say Office did too. You see Luke's right on Nuked's bump bumper. It only took him about five laps to get... Well, he's not right on his bumper. Well, he's about to be. But, you know, it only took Luke five laps to gain on Nuked. And, and now he's going for the pass. If Nuked would have taken that pit right away after Luke pit, I honestly think he would have had a shot at a podium. But now, look at how much all these people that I think are faster than Nuked, they're all packed up. They're all gaining on him. You can see Luke's going after him. You know, Nuked, he has to pit now. He has to make his pit now. And a smart decision by Luke, uh, by Luke, by Nuked, he, he takes his pit now. He realizes, you know what, I probably waited a little too long. I'm going to go for it now. But you can tell... That, that's where it bites him in the butt. He waited way too long. You, you can tell. I think he would have at least been with Midget and Real Deal if he would have pitted right away. So at least he's doing strategy, though. You know, some people, most people just do their pits right away. Don't really employ kind of any strategy. I like when there's strategy because it makes things a little more interesting. So I gotta give credit to Luke, Nuked, and, and Office because they all had... Uh, good strategy. Office played the strategy pretty well. I mean, he's fast, but he played the strategy pretty well, and it's it's got him into a good position. But guys like, you know, Real Deal, and to an extent, Midget and Edward, they sort of just did their pits right away, you know, in the early goings, and didn't employ much strategy in terms of where people were on the track. And it didn't really help them that much, on top of their bad start as well. And Lynx as well. He, I am not sure what happened to him. I wouldn't contribute it to bad strategy. I have no idea how he got that far back. I know he wrecked once, but still, that far, I have no idea what happened to Lynx. I really don't. You see, though, Office still has the same gap that he sort of had on Luke when Luke was coming out of his pits for his second pit. So he hasn't really gained much. And this is a lapped race. This race ends at lap 27. We are on lap 18 right now. Office makes a small mistake, but you can tell him and Luke are running almost identical lap times. Maybe Office slightly a bit faster, but they're running very, very similar lap times at this point. The only real place Office gains is right there through that section. Um, Luke seems to be... They both seem to be pretty identical everywhere else, but in that one's back section, Office gains a little bit. Right here, I think Luke might be a little bit faster. Yeah, I think Luke takes that full speed, so I think he might be faster than that section. So it's sort of a trade-off, and they end up going about even lap times. But, you know, playing good pitch strategy, though, does help you. Office and Luke, in my opinion, both played pretty good pitch strategy, and here they are in first and second. You know, real deal, he did horrible strategy, but he's still, he's still in third. So you can get away with it occasionally, but if you want the win, you're going to have to have good strategy.
Yeah, I think Luke is fat. Luke is faster through that section, but Office does gain the uh, hill right there where Lynx is going. So like I said, it's sort of a trade-off, and they both end up running about even lap times. Midget though, midget. I mean, it's not. I wouldn't say. I mean, even though I did earlier, I wouldn't really say it was a bad strategy. Midget just got messed up a lot. You know, he got into a couple accidents, just got into a very a, a couple sticky situations, and he's in salvage mode now. He's just trying to salvage the best finish he can, and he's attacking for a podium with all the crap he's seen. I am impressed that Midget is here, going for this podium. And although he is one of the better GP racers, it is still impressive that through the you know the crap that's happened to him, he he's still fighting for this podium. And you see Edward right there too. I thought he was out of it. He's still there fighting with Midget. So very impressive of these two. That they're sticking in it. They're not giving up. You know they see real deal. They see they don't see real deal. They see a podium right in front of them, and they're they're attacking it. Oh, Edward with an aggressive move. Not gonna pay off. Oh my God! I thought Edward was gonna take a pass there. That was crazy. Edward's being super aggressive on Midget at this point. I honestly think Edward's almost a little bit faster than him right now. But these two are battling, which is letting Real Deal get away. Uh, I think this is all. And I think Edward realizes that. I think Edward's thinking at this point, just take fourth, you know? Because, um, you know, Real Deal has such a gap that it's going to take a good mistake from Real Deal for them to pass him. So Edward's just, you know, trying to get that fourth place position get as much as he can. Office and Luke working their way through a little bit of lap traffic right now. Interesting, interesting race. I love the pit strategy that people, I mean, honestly, what I think makes these races really interesting, and Midget makes a big gain on Real Deal, is the pit strategy. I like when people use pit strategy. I don't like when people are just like, oh, okay, well, you know, I'm just going to take my two pits right away. Pits are open. I'm just going to do them right now. I hate that. And you notice that unless you're really, really good. I mean, if you're good, but you're only, like, slightly faster than everybody else, and you do a pit strategy like that, you're probably going to end up, like, real deal and, you know, get on the short end of the stick in this podium position. But if, you, if you're good and you play pit strategy right, you're going to get a good finish, and you're going to make a tremendous gain on everybody else. And that, that's, what I, that's what I've noticed here today. To be fair, though, I do feel that Office and, I mean, Midget and Edward, they didn't do anything that wrong. I mean, they just got involved in a couple accidents early that they can't, couldn't really have avoided, and that's why they're back here. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I hope more people use pitch strategy, because just, it just makes everything more interesting in these races. And we're coming to the white flag. Luke takes the white flag right here. One lap to go. Away from his second win in a row this season. His fourth win in a row in ORL. You see, that's the first time he slowed down there. That's the second time he slowed down there all race. Just playing it conservative this last lap. Doesn't want to make any stupid mistakes. Knows he has a good gap on office. Yeah, this can be a big win for him because... Second win of the season this early is huge. Especially when I think it's going to take 4-5 to win this championship. He's already halfway there. And there he goes across the line. Takes the W. Office in second. Real deal in third. Midget fourth. Edward fifth. Congo sixth. Oh! <laughs> um, Lynx, I think, is going to come in... S oh, no. There might... No, I believe that's going to be nuked in sixth. Congo in seventh. Lynx in eighth. Was Seraph? No, I think Justice in ninth and Seraph in tenth. Huh. Justice beat Seraph. That's pretty impressive. Beating the veteran. Rookie beat him. There's your whole finishing order. See Congo and Lynx. They're coming way down here to line up. And they're going to line up right there. Or are they? Oh, yeah, that's right. The Justice and Seraph. They still got to go around. But Ju Justice did get ninth. Seraph did get tenth. But, um, crest to Luke in the win. Interesting race. I liked the strategy that Luke and Office played. I like pitch strategy. It makes this a lot more interesting. 
you know, real deal strategy ended up putting him on the short end of the stick, but still getting a podium. So he still recovered pretty well. Um, Midget, a little bit of adverse, big crash he had. Um, Edward with a fifth, a uh, solid finish coming off of his second last week. And then right here we have um, Nuked. Uh, what does he get? Six? First, first race, not too bad. He is a rookie. Uh, not a rookie to racing, but he is a rookie to this league. Uh, and then you have Congo coming after him in seventh, Lynx in eighth. No idea what happened to Lynx still. I, yeah, yeah, I have no idea. And then uh, Justice in ninth and Seraph in tenth. Pretty impressive race by Justice. <sighs> Besides what happened on the first lap. <laughs> that was not that impressive. But the rest of the race, the fact that he was able to beat Seraph, one of the, one of the longtime veterans in this league. I mean, Seraph, I think, is second or third on the all-time starts list. That's huge. I mean, he's been here for a long time. Um, but, yeah, good race. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. The, this will probably be the only ORL race you see for about two weeks. Unless that race that comes up in two weeks ends up being bad. I think next week's will not be that great, but I think the week after that will be awesome. That's why I'm just telling you right now, there will probably be a video in two weeks. I'm going to be surprised if there isn't, honestly, uh, because that's just, I'm, I'm looking forward to that race, that track, Victoria Field. It should be a really exciting race, especially with the retarded section. <laughs> when, when, we, when I show the video, you'll know, what the, you'll know all about the retarded section. That'll make it interesting. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the race. See you guys next time.